Le Menil Sir Roger, it's one of our uh, famous Grand Cru. Uh, we have a big part of Le Menil Sir Roger and the majority of our Blanc de Blanc. Uh, and especially uh, we use le, the steel wine of Le Menil uh, for uh, uh, our special cuvée. And in on, on the cuvée Orpal, uh, generally I use a big part uh, of Le Menil Sir Roger because um, we have a very uh, mineral wine uh, with big structure and, and, and very uh, uh, strict acidity. And uh, for me, it's very important to, to have a, uh, uh, for a long time aging in bottles. Uh, in Union Champagne, uh, we have 60% of the vineyards of Le Menil sur Roger. It's very important, 60%. Uh, this spring, uh, we have a very good uh, weather conditions with no froze. And uh, at this period, on May, uh, we can see uh, the grapes, uh, the new grapes, and uh, I think if we have good weather conditions during uh, the vegetative uh, period, uh, we can hope a very uh, good harvest in terms of quantity because we have enough grapes, and uh, if, of course, have a very good weather during the summer, uh, perhaps, and I hope we can have a very good quality, of course. A vintage? It's, it's, we can't say it at this period. We must wait the first day of the, 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 the harvest to uh, make a pronostic uh, on the quality of the harvest. Uh, we have a very good perspective of the Côte des Blancs, of the Grand Cru of the Côte des Blancs, because we are here. Uh, in Lomenil sur Roger, and we can see uh, the Auger, Avis, and Cramont uh, on the higher altitude, and uh, it composes all these four uh, villages, uh, compose the, the Cuvée Orpal, uh, because it's the very best place for the Chardonnay. Uh, we put the wine at uh, 4 degrees minus zero during one week to uh, uh, preserve the tartaric precipitation. This is massive. Yeah. This is tank. We have uh, equivalent of 400,000 bottles, and it's the yeah, in each tank, and uh, we can make the bottling during one week of this wine. In one week, we bottle 400,000 bottles. So we are in the cuvée. Uh, in this cuvée, we have uh, 70,000 hectoliters uh, of storage capacity, uh, but the majority of our steel wine uh, of the last harvest are uh, stored on 15 different cooperatives. Um, the majority of our cooperatives uh, are uh, on the Côte des Blancs for uh, nine, 900 hectares, and for the rest, uh, average uh, 400 hectares are on the Montagne de Reims. And uh, specificity of the Saint-Gal is uh, 
to be a member uh, of the cooperative, you must have your vineyards classified only in premier cru or grand cru. So uh, the majority of our grapes uh, are Chardonnay because the majority of our vineyards are uh, on the Côte des Blancs, and for the rest, uh, 30% are Pinot Noir on the Montagnards. We can uh, speak about uh, Le Ménil sur Auger, Auger, Aviv, and Cramant for the Chardonnay Grand Cru, and uh, Ambonnet, Bouzy, Aï for the Grand Cru Pinot Noir. So it's our uh, last investment uh, five years ago. Um, it's the parts of the curry that we keep and store our reserve wine. Uh, the reserve wine are very important in Champagne because it's uh, with this that we can uh, keep uh, and maintain the quality of our Champagne every year, or non-vintage Champagne. Because uh, of course in Champagne, uh, each harvest are very different in terms of quantity and quality and the reserve wine can we can uh, with this uh, maintain and keep the style of our brand and, and uh, the style of each cuvee. Uh, in these parts we have 66 different cubes and in each cube we have uh, different wines uh, of different years, of course. Uh, our oldest reserve wine uh, is 2003, uh, and we can keep each village, each cru, each grapes variety, uh, and each year uh, separately. Uh, so it's very important for me because we can have a, a very diversity, a very big diversity of reserve wine. And it's like uh, spicy for a cooker. We can pick up in each uh, tank to uh, to make our blend. Uh, we have 12 uh, big barrels of 80 hectoliters each and uh, it represents 10% of the volume of reserve wine and uh, in these parts we can, uh, I can have a, a different aging of wine because I'm not looking uh, for a woody test but uh, it's very important for me to have uh, a little parts of reserve wine with uh, uh, different expressions and uh, they help me uh, on the blend to uh, have uh, uh, maximum expressions and, and, uh, and very uh, big mouth uh, and especially on the Gros Cru, on the oldest Gros Cru uh, reserve wine. So beautiful uh, picture, yeah. the lights and the...
we, we say that on, the, on this building, it uh, doesn't work in English, but uh, because it's, in French we say it's an ovni, like an UFO. UFO, an, an identified flying object, but, but in French, ovni, objet volant non identifié, we can change it in objet vinicole non identifié. So. <laughs> Salars uh, was built on the, at the end of the 19th century because uh, Union Champagne uh, was created in 66, in uh, 1966, but uh, the building is more oldest uh, and the, 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 the more oldest part is the Salars, was built on uh, uh, 80, 80, So you still do riddling for the Opal? Uh, yeah, we make the riddling uh, by manual riddling all the special QA and, and especially Orpal and uh, all the magnums, uh, of course the big quantity, the, the, the classical bottles, was riddled by Geopite. Oh, wonderful! I hear a man, a riddling man. Um, 
the, 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 the name de saint gall is in memory of uh, um, a monk, uh, Gallus, uh, an, an Irish monk, uh, and uh, he make a trip uh, around uh, uh, Europe uh, and cross um, France, uh, and he found the, the city of Saint Gallen in, in, in uh, Switzerland. And uh, we have some uh, papers uh, which prove that he lived in Avis uh, at this period before the formations of, uh, of the city of Saint Galen. So, in memory, we call Hourbrand de Saint Galen. So in total, how many bottles are down here again? Uh, we have on the cellars uh, no approx uh, 30,000, uh, uh, sorry, 30 millions of bottles. 30 million? 30 millions, yeah. So the Giro Palette starts. Of course, the majority of our bottles uh, was riddled by Giro Palettes. And uh, the difference by, by hand uh, that we can make the reading in one week and it, it spends two months by hand. We have two different lines. Uh, the, the bigger it's uh, for the uh, uh, classical uh, 75 centiliters bottles, and it's totally automatic. We disgorge with the ice, and the little part is for the other uh, format, uh, like uh, uh, special cuvee or orpal uh, and uh, magnums and half bottles. And the specificity is that we keep the manual disgorgements, we say the à la volée. Uh, on the on the glass or 
foreign body inside the bottle because all our bottle must be very uh, clean and uh, with no uh, no problem uh, on the consumer we are to be safe. not a period of big activity at this moment because uh, the majority of the uh, expedition uh, and sales was on the last part of the year so uh, uh, beginning uh, in September to December it's uh, it's more big activity in the uh, or uh, Blanc de Blanc Extra Brut it's a blend uh, of uh, Grand Cru uh, and uh, it's on, of course only Chardonnay. Uh, it's a base of 2012 harvest, of course with reserve wine of uh, uh, 10, 9, 8. And, and uh, we have a dosage of 4 grams per liter uh, to preserve the freshness and the minerality of the, of the wine. It's very top for a uh, uh, diner and especially for seafood and fish. So the cuvée Orpal, uh, it's our premium cuvée, uh, it's the blend uh, only of Chardonnay, uh, only Grand Cru, um, and uh, it, it's the selection of the best Chardonnay of the area of the Côte des Blancs, uh, and especially uh, very old vine. Um, and the specificity of Orpal, that we must keep it before the sales a minimum of 10 years on lease. Uh, we start to, to, to sell the, um, the vintage 204 uh, since six months, uh, so uh, we have uh, uh, 12, uh, to 12 and 13 years of aging on lease. Uh, and uh, generally uh, we use a parts of malolactic wine and non-malolactic wine on the blend uh, and it could be different on uh, each vintage uh, to preserve the freshness and to have a very uh, good uh, uh, potential of aging uh, of this cuvee. Um, it's very top for the diner and, uh, and, uh, and especially with uh, uh, chicken uh, poulard, poulard à la crème uh, or you can eat with fish too, uh, because uh, it's a very uh, um, good freshness wine, uh, and of course, plus the maturity of the Chardonnay. Rosé de Seigné, or it's a Rosé Grand Cru. It's, uh, it's only made with Pinot Noir from Ambonnet. And uh, when I made the red wine for the blend, the, uh, the blend uh, Rosé, uh, I make an extraction of a part of the, of the, the cuve uh, of the wine during the red vinifications. And I extract after, depending of the year, uh, 12 hours. Uh, a selection of Pinot Noir and uh, we make the classical vinification to make a champagne and uh, this cuvee it's a base of uh, 212 uh, only Pinot Noir only uh, 
from Ambonnet. Uh, the dosage is uh, seven grams, and for me it's uh, wonderful with meat uh, because you have very very uh, big characters of Pinot Noir, uh, the fruity. But you have the style of the Sagal, the, the style of the Chardonnay for Pinot Noir, because we, we like to uh, keep the freshness for a rosé. And it's not a, a rosé only on the base on the, on the red wine. It's, uh, it's based on the freshness and the fruity, the duality between the freshness and the fruity.